This course has been developed by the NCAA Eligibility Center to help you understand the initial eligibility requirements and what you need to do during the rest of your time in high school to prepare yourself to play your sport at the collegiate level. We at the NCAA are proud to be part of your journey. Let's get started. Let's start by looking at your options when selecting a college or university. The NCAA is made up of three divisions, Division I, two, and three. Selecting the right division and school is an important part of the college experience. But with over 1,100 member colleges and universities in the NCAA's three divisions, how do you pick the right school for you? Here are some important factors to consider. School size, student to faculty ratio, majors and minors, location, playing time, culture and religion. Ask yourself if you would be happy at that college if you weren't playing sports. Remember, you'll spend the next four to five years there, so look at everything, not just athletics. Your interest in playing at an NCAA member school is a great first step, but there are several things you need to do over the course of your high school years in order to be in a position to play once you hit campus. Let's start with registering with the Eligibility Center. In order to practice, compete, and receive an athletic scholarship, you must first register with the NCAA Eligibility Center at eligibilitycenter.org no later than your sophomore year of high school. The NCAA Eligibility Center is responsible for evaluating academic and amateurism certification for all student athletes who want to play at a Division I or Division II school. If you select a Division III school, you won't need certification by the Eligibility Center. The academic certification guidelines used by the Eligibility Center exist to ensure you're prepared for academic success during college. Additionally, the amateurism certification process exists to level the playing field by ensuring every student athlete is an amateur. At eligibilitycenter.org, you'll find two types of accounts, a certification account and a profile page account. Which account you select depends on your situation. If you know you are going to play at a Division I or Division II school, or want to take an official visit, or sign a national letter of intent, you'll need a certification account. The cost for certification account is $90. If you aren't sure if you'll be playing sports in college, the free profile page account is the way to go. You can always convert your free profile page account to a certification account later if you decide to study and play at a Division I or Division II school. For Division I schools, you must achieve a 2.3 GPA, complete 16 core courses, and earn an SAT or ACT sum score that matches your core course GPA. So what does all this mean? Let's take a look. Check to see if the high school you attend has a list of NCAA courses. No core course list means courses taken from that school will not count for NCAA eligibility. If your school does not have a list, you risk being ineligible to play in college. In order to qualify academically, you'll also need to complete 16 core courses in the subject areas shown here. 10 of those 16 core courses must be completed prior to your seventh semester of high school, with seven of those courses in English, math, or science. So planning your classes early in your high school career is important. Work with your high school counselor to ensure you are taking the right courses. Starting in ninth grade, be sure you are getting your best grades in your classes. A core course GPA of 2.3 is required for full competition at the Division I level. For Division II, the core course GPA requirement is a 2.2. After registering with the Eligibility Center, ask your counselor to upload your transcript to your Eligibility Center account. If you have attended multiple high schools, the Eligibility Center needs an official transcript from each high school attended in order to process your academic certification. If you are approaching graduation, ask your counselor to upload a final transcript after graduation to your Eligibility Center account. The Eligibility Center also needs your SAT or ACT test scores direct from the testing agency. Results on your high school transcript can't be accepted. When you register for the SAT or ACT, make sure you select code 9999 
to have your scores sent directly to the Eligibility Center. Your ACT or SAT test score must match your core course GPA on the sliding scale. If you take either test more than once, we'll use your best sub scores from different tests to get your best possible score, so take the test more than once if you can. The second certification required to practice, compete, and receive an athletic scholarship is for amateurism. When you register with the NCAA Eligibility Center, you will be asked a series of questions about your sports participation to determine your amateur status. Some of the things reviewed by the Eligibility Center staff during your amateurism certification include any salaries paid to you related to your athletic ability, contracts you may have signed, prize money, tryouts with professionals, benefits from agents, and financial assistance related to your athletic ability you may have received. In some instances, the NCAA Eligibility Center staff may need to gather additional information to evaluate your amateur status. However, more than 90% of student athletes who register are automatically certified. You will need to request your final amateurism certification from your Eligibility Center account. If you are starting college in the fall, you can request your final amateurism on or after April 1st of your senior year. For those starting college in the spring, you can request your final amateurism on or after October 1st. After registering with the Eligibility Center, be sure to watch for information in your email inbox. This information will help you understand the certification process, as well as let you know about the next steps for your certification. Keep up the hard work, both in the classroom and on the court. Good luck! We look forward to helping you move toward your goal of playing college sports.